Hello Green Shoppers, welcome once again to my channel. This is Sir Job and welcome to Sir Job TV. Para sa lahat po ng mga new explorers, check on newly discovered pa po sa akin channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be updated with my future videos. So para sa araw na ito, let's still continue to discuss the practical research one or the qualitative research. So sa inyong screen ngayon, makikita ninyo ang ating topic for this morning which is all about how to apply pagination in research. This is actual demonstration. Welcome to my video number 190. So good morning once again, Golden Choppers. So ang pag-uusapan natin sa umagang ito, as I said to you kanina, is paano natin i-apply ang pagination. So this is an actual um, video demonstration to all of you kung paano natin ilagay ang placing ng ating um, pages and of course, um, paano natin i-erase yung first number sa first page ng chapter and even sa preliminary parts ng ating research. So basically yan ang tututukan natin sa video na ito. So before we have to go further sa ating demonstration for this morning, I want you to recapitulate first kung ano yung pinag-usapan natin sa video 189. So basically kung hindi nyo napanood yun, you should have to watch first para magkaroon kayo ng connection sa pinag-uusapan natin dito sa video 190. So basically, sa pagination, all preliminary pages except the title page must be numbered. So meaning to say, mag-start ang ating numbering sa second page na talaga. Okay? Um, as well as sa mga chapters ng ating research, ganun pa rin ang procedure. Okay? Begin the numbering with small Roman numeral 2. Nakikita nyo ngayon yung dalawang small letter I. Yan ang first nating makikitang number or page number sa ating preliminary pages. The title page counting as 1. Okay? But remaining unnumbered. The same thing happens sa introduction or the first chapter, doon na talaga sa body ng ating um, research, the page 1 in the introduction counting as 1 but remaining and numbered. So later, makikita ninyo kung ano nga ba ang feature ng pinag-uusapan natin today. So binigyan ko lang kayo ng idea no, or we are being recapitulated lang kung ano yung pinag-uusapan natin yesterday. So the number of each text page is placed in in the same position on all pages at the upper right in line with the right hand margin and at least one half inch down from the top of the paper so as to allow two trims at the bindery. So basically, pinag-usapan natin dito kung saan natin ilulocate ang ating page number. Okay? Using the Arabic numbers. Okay? So sabi niya dito naka-highlight sa atin at the upper right line or at the upper right in line with the right hand margin. So para mas lalo ninyong maintindihan later may actual akong isusunod sa inyo. So, lowercase Roman numerals, um, example, I, 2I, 3I, IVV, VI, etc. are used for preliminary pages. So, ito yung makikita ninyo. Pag nasa preliminary pages tayo, ang gagamitin natin is Roman numerals. The numerals appear centered at the bottom of the page, approximately one half inch above the bottom. So, kung pag-uusapan natin ang Roman numerals na ginamit sa preliminary pages, dapat ang location niya is nasa bottom at saka naka-center yung position niya. Okay, yan ang sinabi dito sa ating statement. So, later makikita nyo kung ano ang feature niyan. So, Arabic numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., are used for the body of the thesis. Okay, so start ang ating numbering also from the um, first page of the introduction going further. Okay, the numerals appear in the upper right of the page approximately one half inch down from the top and one half inch in from the right margin.
So at this juncture golden jobbers, I am showing to you a research na gagamitin natin as an example. So scroll down ko ito because this is the preliminary parts of the research. So ipakita ko sa inyo na meron na siyang um, page number. Okay, in fact, nandito na ang Roman numerals sa ating preliminary na pages. Okay, sa ating research. And also, sa ating introduction, kung scroll down ko pa siya, makikita natin na meron na rin siyang page number. Okay, gumamit na rin siya ng Arabic number in numbering the paper. Okay, so makikita nyo yan sa screen. So, basically, ang ating Arabic numerals, correct na ang placing niya. Pero, ang ating Roman numerals ay hindi pa correct ang placing kasi supposedly, according sa ating binasa kanina, dapat dito siya located. Yung cursor na itinuro ko sa iyo, dapat dito na sa center na ito, nakalagay ang ating Roman numerals. So the thing now is transfer natin siya dito sa center kasi nasa upper right margin po siya okay, ng ating papel. Um, dito sa ating example na ipinapakita sa inyo. So, um, nag-transfer na ako ng file kanina. As you can see sa inyong screen, naging dalawa na sila sa baba. So, itong vlog number 9, 190 yan. This is um, the file na gagamitin natin to show you kung papaano natin ilagay ang um, page number gamit ang Roman numerals. Okay, the first thing that you need to do, okay, ito yung mga choices natin sa ibabaw uh, I know na common ito sa inyo, okay? Um, I'm sure nakakita na kayo ng Microsoft Word. So, i-click nyo lang ang insert, okay? So, dito sa portion na ito, makikita natin ang page number, okay? Katabi niya si footer at saka si header. So yan, nakikita nyo, magagamit din natin yan sa research So basically, ang goal natin ngayon is maglagay tayo ng number So first thing that you need to do is to click this one Okay, and then i-format mo muna yung page Bakit kailangan natin i-format? Because we want to check kung ano yung information na nakalagay dito Kasi pwede rin na Arabic numbers ito Okay, so Pwedeng letters. So, in our case right now, gumamit na tayo ng Roman numerals. Makikita ninyo. So, you have to check this portion and of course, you have to click also this portion. So, start 1 na tayo. Roman numerals 1. Makikita nyo ngayon yan. So, i-click nyo lang yung OK. Okay? So, diretso ka lang dyan. Pero, wala pa yung page number. Okay? Right after na format mo yun, wala ka pang page number na makikita dyan. So, basically, you have to click again the page number. So, right after clicking the page number, makikita mo dito may mga choices. May top of the page, may bottom of page. But since sa ating discussion kanina, sinabi natin na sa bottom of page makikita ang page number ng preliminary pages. Okay? So, basically, ang goal natin is matransfer nga siya sa center part at the bottom of your paper. So, since... Andito sa choices, ilagay mo lang yan. Itapat mo lang yung cursor mo dyan, lalabas ang options, i-drag mo, and then dito tayo sa plane number 2. Kasi ito ang goal natin. Okay? Nasa center at saka nasa bottom of your paper. So, you have to click this plane number 2. Pag-click mo dyan, automatically, may nakalagay na na page number sa paper mo. Nakikita nyo yan, golden chabbers. Yan, o. Oh, yan. Okay? So, kailangan, because we are using Times New Roman, baguhin mo ito. So, you have to highlight this one. Kikita nyo, ayan. So, after highlighting, may mga options na lalabas. Pwede dito ka mag-apply, pwede ring pumunta ka ng home. Okay? So, since nawala na siya, punta tayo ng home. Click mo lang yan, tapos, you have to change your font style. Kikita nyo yan sa screen. Okay. So, since Times New Roman nga ang ginamit natin sa ating research, so, i-click natin ang Times New Roman. Okay? So, na-change mo na. Now, because we want also na magkapareho yung page number natin sa size ng ating letters, okay, or text ating research, so, you have have also to change your font size. So instead of 11, um, you um, click 12. Yan. So 12 na yan. So basically, um, nakapattern na siya sa, ating, um, sa size ng ating text. So right after doing that one, you click design. After clicking design, you click close header and footer. Okay? 
after clicking this one, yan. So, ito yung magiging feature ng inyong um, preliminary pages. So, mayroon na po siyang pages sa ibaba, okay? Which is, ang goal natin talaga is dito mailagay ang ating mga preliminary pages. Now, the question is, papaano natin ito tatanggalin? Because according to our statement, dapat ang first page ng every chapter, including the preliminary pages, dapat wala tayong nakikitang ganito. Okay? Kasi understood na dapat na one ito. So, ang makikita lamang talaga sa ating research pag na-print out siya is itong number two. Okay? So, now... How we are going to cut that one? So, sa aking way, I don't know kung meron pa kayong pamamaraan na iba, pero sa akin, ito ang ginagawa ko talaga even before. So, i-click mo lang yung, you have to click insert. Balik tayo para makuha ninyo. Okay, balik tayo sa home. So, in order for us to um, remove this one, i-click mo lang yung insert. Okay, so may shape dito, may mga choices. So, piliin mo itong magsisircle sa kanya or... Um, shape na pwede magtakip talaga sa kanya. Okay, yan. Okay? So, right after natakpan mo na, you have to click this portion. Eto. I hope nakapalo kayo sa kong cursor. So, ikiklik mo yan. But anyway, kahit ano dyan, pero ako talaga kinukuha ko is itong black. So, right after that one, okay, ikiklik ko. Yan. So, natabunan na yung number natin. However, meron siyang line. Okay? So, kailangan nating tanggalin yan. So, the next thing that you need to do is to click this one. Itong shape outline. Okay? You have to click this one and i-click mo lang yung white dito na portion. Okay? Or no outline sa baba, pwede rin. Pero you can also use white. After clicking that one, eto na yung mangyayari. Yan. So, if we are going to print out this one, wala na talagang makikitang number one dyan. Pero, Yung number 2, 3, and 4, and so on, makikita pa rin nila. Okay? Reflected pa rin yan sa ating printing. Yan, nakikita ninyo. Okay. So, ganyan lang po kadaling i-apply ang pagination sa research. But as I said to you, since dito sa ating example, pakita ko ulit sa inyo ha, since dito sa ating final paper, nakalagay siya dito, I don't know kung meron kayong pamamaraang iba, Pero sa aking case talaga, mahihirapan ako kung nakadugtong siya sa um, full parts sa papers or complete parts of the paper. So that is the reason why nung nag-thesis ako, sineparate ko talaga ang preliminary pages from the rest of the research. Okay, kasi iba kasi yung numbering niya. We are using your Roman numerals. So ang advice ko sa inyo, gawin niyo yung ginawa ko. You have to create another file na ang laman lamang ng file na yun is ang inyong preliminary preliminary pages, just like this one. Okay? So, kung i-drag down pa natin, preliminary pages lang talaga until 7, o, oh, nakikita ninyo, yan. So, until 7 siya. So, preliminary pages lang talaga ang nilagay ko sa part na ito, or sa file na ito. Okay? So, i-print mo rin siya separately. Okay? Para idugtong mo na lang pag mag-hardbound ka na. So, this is how. So, kung yung ginawa natin dito, sa portion na ito, you can also do that one sa pinakaunang part ng every chapter. Papakita ko sa inyo ngayon para at least you could be able to see or to visit um, ano yung nangyayari sa ating research dapat or the feature. Sa introduction, this is actually the chapter 1, okay? So, makikita natin na merong number 2 dito. Okay? Yan. Nakikita ninyo? Number 2. Okay? So, pero dito sa mismong introduction, wala kang makikitang number kasi in-apply din niya yung ginawa ko kanina sa inyo. Okay? Kung paano siya gawin. So, even sa chapter 2, wala kang makikita kasi dito po kasi nalulukit ang number katabi ng title ng ating chapter. So, that is the reason why in every First portion po ng ating chapter, dapat wala kang makikitang page number. Kasi 4 na ang nagkasunod. Supposedly, yun ay 3. Pero hindi natin ipinakita. So, lahat yan i-apply mo from chapter 1 to 5 or kung hanggang saan ang chapter mo. But usually, hanggang 5 lang naman yan. Okay?
So once again, I would like to remind na once you are going to have your final printing na, you separate a copy, okay, or the copy of your preliminary pages sa other file, okay? Kasi iba ang gamit nating page number. We are using Roman numerals, okay? So pag start mo naman ang introduction, kasi gagamit ka na ng Arabic number, so separate mo rin siya. Yung chapter 1 at saka yung 5, the rest of the parts, okay? Kasi Arabic numbers na siya. So ganun lang. So again, center pag preliminary pages, pero pag actual um, from chapter 1 down to the last page, dito na sa upper right margin, makikita natin ang page number. So this is how you are going to prepare your research paper, or this is how you apply the pagination in your research paper, especially when you are about to have your final printing now for the hardbound. So that would be all for this morning. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope that you will share this video to your friends and to anybody else that you think na nilangan ng video na ito. Asahan niyo po that Sir Job TV will continue to discuss more meaningful discussions, especially in the world of social sciences. Thank you once again for watching. Bye-bye!